Hello everyone, this is The Traveling Tacos. Today I am in Glenwood Springs, Colorado, visiting the world's largest mineral hot spring pool. Glenwood Springs a dozen times, probably even more, and I had no idea that the world's largest mineral pool is right here at Glenwood Hot Springs. I've been over to Iron Mountain Hot Springs, which is right next door, and I've done the Vapor Cave. I had no idea that this pool right here is the world's largest. I am so unbelievably excited to be here today. This is so cool. I just got to fly my drone overhead and this place looks unbelievable. Let's go on inside and check it out. camera out made some people uncomfortable in the water. Um, is that to like take a picture of yourself or something? Yeah. Oh. Is that okay? Uh, I kind of have like a whole thing about not taking a lot of things. Other people don't like it. I'm not sure about the kind of selfie thing. So maybe I'll just said I couldn't take pictures in the water. Okay. The lady at the front, when I like... Alright, okay. Not take a, I can stop as soon as I get my picture, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, alright. I think other people are comfortable. Okay, thank you. So I'm now going back to the locker room to put the camera up, but these pools are really cool. There's two different ones. One's only about 92 degrees, and then the other one's a little over 104 degrees. The 104 degree one is the world's largest mineral pool. So I got as many pictures, as videos as I could. I'm a little annoyed because I asked the front office lady when I bought my ticket if it was okay. She said, absolutely. Then they told me no. The lifeguard said, you're making people uncomfortable. So putting it up and I'm gonna go enjoy it. The sun has set, it's way under 30 degrees. It was 35 degrees before the sun set. It's freezing out, but the water is nice and warm. I will say the 90 degree pool got a little chilly, but I'm gonna go relax, take my time. The pool is open until nine o'clock. I got here around 4.30, so I've still got plenty of time and uh, I'm gonna go enjoy it while I can. Okay, hey everyone, honest review time. Please ignore my appearance and the fact that I am taking this in my rental car here. I was a little annoyed when they asked me to stop taking videos, so I didn't want to do anything else with people looking at me or asking me to stop. It's also pitch black. It's about seven o'clock at night. Um, it got dark really, really early at the hot spring. I got there around four o'clock and the sun was already setting with the mountains. Today is November 30th, so if you're coming anytime in the winter, I pretty much recommend coming earlier in the day when it's nice and sunlight out, because it was freezing. By the time I left, it was probably 
probably only like 21, 22 degrees outside and you can feel it, but it's nice because I enjoy going to the hot springs when it's really cold out. That's personally to me the best time to go to hot springs. Um, I will say here, I wish that they had had a cold plunge area. I enjoy some of the other hot springs in Colorado or along the river or they have a cold pool where you can go from cold to hot. It's really therapeutic to go that way. And I will say here, there was a lot of kids. There are some splash zone areas and area, um, like kitty areas, but they were closed for the season. I don't know why, to me, like I said, hot spring season is the winter, um, but they're only open during the summer. So there was a lot of kids yelling and hanging out. So it wasn't the most relaxing. Also, the kitchen closed around three o'clock. So there was no drinks, no food. Um, had those things been open, I'd probably give this place a better review um, because it would have made for a little bit of a better experience. But this is also called the Athletic Club of the Rockies, and that's definitely what it's used for. A lot of locals were here doing laps, exercising, rubbing themselves. Okay, that sounded weird. Like massaging themselves, getting the therapeutic benefits of it. But I wish I could have gotten a massage. The spa it says it's still closed because of COVID. Um, so I give this place about a six and a half taco review. Maybe I'll need to come back to see if it's any better in the summer, but for now, that's my rating. I'm still fully, totally relaxed. Don't get me wrong on that part, but there was definitely some things that could have been better. And this is totally ignoring the fact that they told me I could take videos and then told me I couldn't. So maybe I'll come back one day, but it's cool to know that there are two different hot springs and vapor caves here in Glenwood Springs. So there's lots of options and um, Iron Mountain Hot Springs has many different pools. So it's really cool to get the two different varieties because here there's only the two pools open right now. So if you're in Glenwood Springs, check them both out and let me know what you think and let me know which one you like better.